Hi guys, welcome to this core practical which is focusing on the test for ions. In particular, how can you find out an unknown compound using the test for cations and anions you've covered during the topic? It would be a good idea if you knew all the tests for the different ions. So what I've done is I've put a link in the top right hand corner for a playlist with all my different tests for ions that you need to know. Let's go through a quick recap just in case, just to refresh your memory then. So we'll start off with the flame test. Nice and simply, take a sample of the metal, put it into the flame. If it's lithium, it's red, sodium yellow, potassium lilac, calcium orangey red, and copper bluey green. The second cation test, which we're going to recap, is the one where you add sodium hydroxide. Nice and simply, if you put sodium hydroxide into something that's got a cation in, it'll make a precipitate. So copper will give you a blue one, aluminium and calcium will both give a white precipitate, the way to tell between those two is to add excess sodium hydroxide, aluminium will go colourless, calcium will stay white. Ammonium doesn't produce a precipitate, when you heat it, red litmus will go blue, proving you've got ammonia. Iron 2 will give you a green precipitate, and iron 3 will give you a brown precipitate. And then finally, your anion recap. Carbonate, put an acid in, it'll give off a gas, bubble that gas through lime water, it'll go cloudy. Your halides, Add nitric acid, then silver nitrate. White precipitate means you've got a chloride. Cream precipitate, bromide. And yellow precipitate, iodide. And finally, a sulfate. Add hydrochloric acid, then barium chloride, and you'll get a white precipitate if a sulfate is present. So that's just a very brief recap. What we're going to do now is have a look at what the type of things that could come up in the exam to do with all that information. And I've got a question for you. It says, three unknown solutions are believed to contain potassium carbonate, copper iodide, and aluminium sulfate. Using your knowledge of iron tests, describe the confirmatory tests for the anions and cations to prove which unknown is which. So what you need to be able to do here is know the anion and cation test for potassium, carbonate, copper, iodide, aluminium, and sulfate. If you know that, the rest is easy. Let's start off with unknown A. We'll choose potassium carbonate. So, we know we've got potassium carbonate. How can we prove that? Put it into a flame. If the flame goes lilac, that proves we have potassium. How can we prove the anion carbonate? Bubble it through lime water once we put an acid in. If it goes cloudy, we know we've got a carbonate present. Therefore, my unknown would be potassium carbonate if I saw those two tests. Unknown B, copper iodide. So let's have a look at that one. Again, we do our flame test for this one. It should go blue or bluey green. And then for our anion, what we do is we add an acid into it, we should see nothing happening. Then we add silver nitrate. If we get a yellow precipitate, we know I have an iodide. Therefore, we know that my unknown is copper iodide. And then finally, aluminium sulfate. How can we prove we've got that? This time, we don't do the flame test. Nothing will happen if we do the flame test. So what we have to do is add sodium hydroxide. And what we'll do is we'll get a white precipitate, as you can see here. However, remember that white precipitate can either be calcium or aluminium. So what we have to do is continue adding sodium hydroxide, so we're in excess. If it dissolves and goes colourless, we know it's aluminium. And then, how can we prove we've got the anion, the sulphate? There should be no bubbles when we add the acid. We add barium chloride to it, and we should get a white precipitate. If we do, that proves we have a sulfate, and that proves we have aluminium sulfate. So, if you had that question in an exam, we've just been through what the tests are, but how would you answer that question? And there are loads of different ways, but one example is just choose one of the chemicals and tell me the tests. So I'm going to start off with copper iodide. What do we do to prove it's copper? Add it into a flame. So put the solution into a flame. If it goes bluey green, it's copper. That's going to get you your first mark. Your second mark is then, okay, we know it's copper, but how can we prove it's copper iodide? And that is the test for iodine, your iodide ions. So add nitric acid, then silver nitrate. If you get a yellow precipitate, it proves you have an iodide and therefore proves you have copper iodide. What you can do then is go on to the next compound, which is for potassium. So what do we do? That's into a flame again. If it goes lilac, it's gonna be potassium. And again, how do you prove it's potassium carbonate then? That's your test for your carbonate. So add an acid to the solution. If a gas is given off, bubble that gas through lime water. If it goes cloudy, it's a carbonate and you have potassium carbonate. 
And then finally, let's talk about aluminium sulfate. What do we need to do to prove it's aluminium? Well, you're not going to get a flame test colour, so what do you do? You add sodium hydroxide. It'll give you a white precipitate, which will then dissolve when you add excess sodium hydroxide. And then finally, to prove it's the sulfate, what do you do? Add hydrochloric acid, then barium chloride, and you'll get a white precipitate, which proves that your sulfate is present. Now that is more than enough information to get six out of six in a GCSE exam. So hopefully you can see it's all about piecing those bits of information together from all the different iron tests you've covered during this topic. What we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at a few more questions that I'd like you to have a go at. And I've got three questions for you. Now what I would recommend is go back to the recap. If you're not sure, if you don't know the test for all the different irons, you need to know that before you can answer these questions. If we start off with question one then, which says an unknown substance doesn't produce a colour when added to a flame, but turns brown when added to sodium hydroxide. So we've got a brown precipitate. What's the name of the cation that produces a brown precipitate? When hydrochloric acid is added, there are no bubbles, but when barium chloride is added, a white precipitate forms. So which one, which anion, gives you a white precipitate when you add barium chloride? So the question is, name that unknown substance. Question two, describe a test to prove which chemical is aluminium chloride and which is calcium bromide. Again, nice and simple, what is the cation test for aluminium and what is it for calcium? And then, what is the chemical test for chloride? What is the one for a bromide? Question three, very similar, this time it's to find out which one is lithium carbonate and which one is sodium iodide. So pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's go through. Question one then says an unknown substance doesn't produce a colour when added to a flame, but turns brown when added to sodium hydroxide. So we're not looking for a flame test here, we are looking for the sodium hydroxide test. Which one gave a brown precipitate? That's our iron three, which you can see here. So your first mark is for saying your cation is iron three. When hydrochloric acid is added, there are no bubbles but when barium chloride is added, a white precipitate forms. So we know we have not got an acid. If we did, it would have bubbled. We could have put that through lime water, but that hasn't happened. So which is the one where we add barium chloride? That's our sulfate, and it gave us a white precipitate, proving we had a sulfate present. Therefore, my anion is a sulfate. Therefore, my unknown substance is iron three sulfate. You need that three in there for the iron to get the two marks. On to question two. So we're gonna have a look here at the cations first, aluminium and calcium. Again, these ones are the sodium hydroxide test. So what we do is we add sodium hydroxide in and we should get a white precipitate. You can see both aluminium and calcium give you a white precipitate. However, that's not confirmatory. We don't know which one's which. So what we have to do is add in excess sodium hydroxide. When we add it in to the aluminium, as you can see, it's gone colorless and the calcium has stayed white. So our first mark is for saying aluminium, add sodium hydroxide, a white precipitate will form. When excess is added, the precipitate will dissolve or go colorless. But for calcium, when excess is added, it will stay white. So that's your first two marks for this question. The second part is to have a look at the anions. So we have a chloride and a bromide. What's the test for that? That is for adding in nitric acid and then silver nitrate. How do we know I've got a bromide? It'll go cream. How do I know I have a chloride? It will go white. Therefore, chloride, your mark is for adding nitric acid, then silver nitrate, and a white precipitate will form, and the bromide is for saying a cream precipitate will form. On to question three then. Describe a test to prove which chemical is lithium carbonate and which is sodium iodide. So we're starting off with lithium and sodium, the cations again. This is the flame test. So what color does lithium go? Red. What color does sodium go? Yellow. So your first mark is for saying flame test will turn the flame red for lithium and yellow for sodium gets you the second mark. If we then look at the carbonate and iodide ions, how can you find out if you've got a carbonate? Put an acid in. You'll get some bubbles. If you put those bubbles into lime water, it will go cloudy. That's your confirmation that you have carbon dioxide and therefore a carbonate. And then for your iodide, add in nitric acid, then silver nitrate, and it should go yellow. So mark three, add an acid, bubble the gas through lime water, it will go cloudy. Mark four, add nitric acid, 
then silver nitrate, and a yellow precipitate will form. And that really is everything you need to know. On to the review question, which says, a label has fallen off a chemical bottle in a laboratory. It is in a cupboard with the solutions of copper chloride, sodium carbonate, ammonium sulfate, and iron 2 bromide. Describe a series of tests you could use to find out the name of your unknown chemical. So again, what's the test for copper? What's the test for chloride? And so on. Tell me the tests, one for each, and that's gonna get you your six marks. That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.